Good day, guys. So I just dropped off the boys at school. And I decided to upload this video now. To reveal the gender of my baby, which I now know. Um, it was so interesting to hear all the predictions. It was so interesting doing all the old wives tales. It was... Um, fun to say the least but uh it just it just i i was having anxiety already from from not knowing what i was carrying i've always told you guys it's not that it mattered i just wanted to know i want to know if my baby is a boy or my baby is a girl i want to know um what to call it I hope all of you guys are doing well. I do have a few reviews that I want to do. I do want to do a video um, of my Christmas slash birthday presents. Uh, comment down below if that's something you would like to see. I didn't really talk about like any of the gifts that I got. And I'm most likely not wearing anything anytime soon. I am now here to let you know what I'm carrying. So I decided to upload this video now. I know you guys have been awaiting the baby's gender for as long as I have. <laughs> It was so fun to hear everyone's predictions, assumptions, everyone's um, experiences. I appreciate all of you who shared all of these things with me. You know, although it's not my first pregnancy, it's relatively a new experience because it's been so long since I had a child. So I appreciate everyone who took the time to take the polls, to answer the questions, to just play these games with me, um, to help me when I felt a little lost. I appreciate you guys so much. What I didn't really appreciate was people saying things like, oh, don't say you're having a boy um, because then you're gonna like put that out in the universe. Er, excuse me people need to be a little bit more compassionate I understand that there's people that only like a certain gender and that's good for you you know um, as far as me I'm okay with having any gender because I'm a mother there is no preference in my child my child is my child and I'm going to love my child unconditionally and it was really bothersome when people say Oh, don't say that because, you know, it's going to be a girl and that's it. What? It's going to be whatever God chooses it to be. Whatever is written in your in your book, that's what it's going to be. Don't ever think that because you said, I'm having a girl, you're having a girl. Or because you said, I'm having a boy, God knows not to send me no. That's not how it works. That's not how life works. And I find that very rude and inconsiderate. Not to mention that we as pregnant women are already emotional. You know, it's very insensitive. I received my results this morning. And I am, <laughs> and I am 99.9% having a boy. crazy and amazing because as a young child I still remember I must have been 14 I must have been like 13 14 like ages where I was still not active and I always said I wanted three boys and two girls and if I was not able to have those three boys and two girls I wanted four boys and one girl of course, we all know I'm closing my factory. <laughs> because this one was a lucky shot. <laughs> okay? That just goes to show that that stuck with me. And... 
you know, God heard me when I asked for that. And it's not that I was still asking for that at this point. It's not that. <clears throat> it's just so crazy that I predicted this so long ago. So like so long ago. Like what are the chances of exactly what you ask for, what you predict or what you desire or what you want? What are the chances of that actually happening in the way that you want it to happen? Because things happen and they do, you know, you might predict something and it might happen, not necessarily in the way that you wanted it to or in the way that you predicted it, but it, it will unravel in that way and it'll happen. But like, you guys know I'm a boy mom. I would have been delighted with a girl. <clears throat> it would have been great. But I'm a boy mom. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, every time people would tell me, oh, you're having a girl, it would scare the sh out of me. Because I'm like, oh, my God, what if I'm having a girl? Oh, my God, how do I do this? What is, oh, my God, 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 right? I just feel at ease that I know what I'm carrying. But then again, I knew what I was carrying all the time. But then again, I was like, second guessing myself i just think it's so funny that so many people are like oh because you're having a girl and that's what it is and don't even say nothing else no that's not how it works that's not how it works it's not oh i'm having a girl and that's what it is and that's it that's not how it works that's just not how it works oh don't say there were people that say oh don't even say it so it won't come like so it won't like be a thing so it won't be real like what are you talking about like, that's so ignorant. Like, when people say, oh, I want a girl, and they have a girl, that's because God chose to give you a girl. That's not because you decided for it to be a girl. No. It's not because you said, oh, God, I don't want a boy. I just want a girl. And God said, okay, no. Because your destiny, your life is written out. Moral of the story, when someone does not know the gender, and they are waiting for the gender or whatever it is there's etiquette that you should follow i hope you guys are excited with the news <laughs> we did get a sonogram done a few days ago as you guys know and the sonogram was not to determine the gender the sonogram was just a, a sonogram so that my kids could be part of the experience being that um they are not able to go with me to appointments because they're at school so I wanted them to, to enjoy like seeing a baby inside of the stomach because my belly is very small so they don't really get it you know I guess when it starts growing they'll feel differently but right now I was like once they saw the baby moving and jumping inside it was super exciting and the baby. Baby. Can you see it? Oh, Wow. Okay, so there's the umbilical cord and my man's like it's a boy She's like, oh no, that's just the umbilical cord. So we were like, oh, okay. So it was like, we were psyched out. So now I was more like anxious than ever because I didn't know if, wait, is it a boy, is it a girl? Now I was closer to finding out. I was closer than ever to finding out, but uh, it was Martin Luther King, The weekend. It was just too much. So, um, I don't know. Although it was the umbilical cord, and although I saw things that could have been a boy part, it also could have been a girl part because it was way too early for me to be getting those um, tests. For that reason, she did not confirm if it was a boy or a girl but i am a boy mom and i have had three separate sonograms in which i kind of can tell and to me it looked like a boy but we still obviously my partner still had hope and we still didn't want to take that from him but i was almost sure 
I was almost sure, but still I was waiting for these results because I did do my NIPT test, the blood work for Down syndrome and for, um, and to know the gender. The Down syndrome came back negative. Thank God it was very low risk. Amen. Thank you, God, because before anything, I asked God for a healthy child. I do not care what I carry. I will not be upset with a girl. I will not be upset with a boy. I am grateful. I am grateful to have healthy children. That's all. That's all. That's all I can ask for as a mother. And of course, I'm emotional because once the emotions started rolling in, because the emotional thing wasn't a thing at the beginning. But once the emotions started coming in, I'm like, I'm having a boy. I'm having a boy for sure. So anyways, let me just cut this right here. I just um, wanted to let y'all know what I know. I wanted to let you in my little secret. But before I go, I just want to let you guys all know you were all wrong. <laughs> you were all wrong. The old wives tales were wrong. Everything was wrong. <laughs> Everything was wrong. That only goes to show that every single pregnancy is different. It doesn't matter if it's the same person who was pregnant. Every single pregnancy is different. Every single person is different. And it just depends on you, your luck, and whatever whatever comes with that. You can never go by other people's experiences because it's not gonna be yours. And even if it is, it doesn't result it doesn't mean that it's guaranteed resulting in the same gender. Um You were all wrong. <laughs> I was right the whole time. Hey, hey boy mom boy mom let's get it see you soon